Good morning, ESM. As always, I'm Luke. And I'm having an identity crisis, so I'm not really sure who I am. I just start things off like that. Listen, Luke, I'm having a rough time, and I could really use your help right now. I don't need the attitude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let's get to news and announcements before you make this any more uh, weird. This weekend, the fair hosts over 40 of the best food trucks from across central New York for the food truck battle. Low-cost samples, along with celebrity judges, live music, and children's area, all included in the festivities. For $5 ticket fee, it's a great way to support locally owned businesses. At one point, California considered the country's epicenter for COVID-19. Now the state is boosting about having one of the lowest positivity rates in the nation. As of Saturday, September 18, 2021, John Hopkins University, part of that over 100,000 people in California. There are only 24.99 positive cases. Currently, the state daily average overnight weekends has been 8,172 cases and 92 average deaths from the virus. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For Spirit Week next week, Music Monday is on Monday, Tropical Taurus Tuesday is on Tuesday, Color Wars Wednesday is on Wednesday, the seniors will be in black, juniors will be in white, sophomores in pink, and freshmen in blue. Throwback Thursday on Thursday, the seniors will be the 80s, the juniors will be the 2000s, the sophomores will be the 90s, and the freshmen will be the 70s. And then Friday, as always, is orange and blue. Math League will be having an informational meeting on Tuesday, September 28th after school in room G7. If you are thinking of joining the team, please come to this meeting. It will not take up the entire after school time, so you can still go see any other teacher. Any questions, please see Ms. Pelkey in room G7 or Mr. Terry. Hope to see you there. All right, welcome back. So, John, are you feeling better now? I don't know, man. It just seems like every time I look around, there's like some new kid stepping up, trying to take our place, you know? Um, it's like this constant feeling that somebody's always trying to get the jump on us. You know what, John? For once, I actually agree with you. Uh, I just feel like there's, you know, some sort of copies of us looming around, like, a, you know, a doppelganger, perhaps. Right. And, but, like, of course, nobody could replace us, though, right? No. Never. That just would never happen. Of course not. Never. Hey! Hey. Weather. Today it will be breezy with a chance of showers with a high of 77 and a low of 65. And fall will officially start at 3.21 p.m. Tomorrow there will be showers throughout the day with a high of 76 and a low of 56. Friday it will be cool with the sunshine and a slight chance of a morning shower with a high of 69 and a low of 50. And I'm Abby Wilcox with your weather. Uh, Luke, Luke, what's happening? You two are old news. <laughs> oh, that was good, actually. You know, like, get it? Because like we're on the news, but like we're also Just stop. old. We're supposed to be upset right now, John. Come on. Oh yeah, you're right. My bad. It's Ellie's back. right. It's time for the younger, better generation to step up. But I thought it would just be me and Luke, like for like the whole to the end. Do you not remember the shows when you and Luke stopped anchoring together? Uh, that, that doesn't count. We were on a break and it was, just, it was just for the show because we were running out of ideas. But, you know, eh, whatever. Yeah. Just like this. Doesn't matter. Now get off our set. Okay. All right. All right. Now that we got those two out, my name's Ellie. And my name is Colin. As you may have guessed, we're the unfortunate siblings of those two. Yes, and as terrible as it is, it does have, someone, it does have one advantage. We get to show how much better we are. But first, sports. The boys soccer team beat Fulton yesterday 4 to nothing on their senior night. Todd Durantini led the efforts with, for the Spartans scoring two goals. Stephen Wynas and Dominic Caruana each contributed one goal in the win. The girls varsity soccer 
team beat Fulton 5 to nothing. Angelino Paul Carroll led the team with two goals and an assist. Liam Rem had two goals and Natalie Peterson had a goal and two assists and Laura Sidnick had an assist as well. The boys volleyball team lost to Oswego yesterday 3 to 1. Carthage football player Tyler Krishman collapsed on the field during his football game last week at West Genesee. He later died in the hospital due to severe brain trauma. In the MLB, the American League wild car race is still anybody's race with 13 days remaining in the season. The Boston Red Sox 6-3 win against the New York Mets still puts them a game and a half up in the fir and first in the standings. And the Toronto Blue Jays 4-2 win against Tampa, the Tampa Bay race puts them a half a game up for the second wild card spot. And the New York Yankees are still a half a game back of the second wild card spot after beating the Texas Rangers 7-1. After 707 days after his last big league appearance, pitcher New from the New York Yankees Luis Severino returned last night as he threw two innings, allowed two hits, and had two strikeouts on the night. In upcoming games, both the girls' and boys' cross-country teams have a meet at Auburn at 4.30. The tennis team also has a game at home against fourth at Auburn at 4.30. And I'm Tanner with your sports. I mean, I don't know, dude. They didn't look like that bad. Yeah, I know. They took our spots, and they're not as good as us. All right, fair enough. Well, let's, let's end the show. Hey, you guys don't make the decisions anymore. There we go. Yeah, but we're going to end the show. So from me. And me. And me. And everyone here at the morning show, have a great day. I quit. You're adopted. <laughs>